Geomatics is the science and art of collecting, managing, analyzing, and visualizing geographical information. Geomatics for the Built Environment at TU Delft is a master's program that stands out nationally and internationally because of the focus on the 3D built environment, its problem-based, hands-on education, and its strong connection with an outstanding research community. So why is this field important? What does it mean to be a part of this program? And where will you work after graduation? Let's get some answers from the people involved, starting with program director Bastian van Lunen. Bastian, can you tell us what you do at Geomatics? Yes, of course. The world is experiencing many challenges for which the right geographical information is essential. You may think of the movement of plastic, resulting in the plastic soup challenge, migration, natural disasters like firestorms, floods and drought, but also the distribution and movement of air pollution and other fluids that have an impact on the built environment. To combat these global, regional and local challenges, you need information about the location of the challenge. What is happening where, at what moment, and what may happen in the future or has happened in the past? In order to answer these questions, you will need to locate the events and relate them to the local context. In Geomedics for the built environment, we use geographic data to find solutions for current and emerging challenges. We, for example, develop 3D models of our own environment, like our building or city, to support decision makers that are dealing with the challenge. Using our models provides insights in how nitrogen or other fluids may flow through a city, what the impact of flooding can be on the city, what the best location for the installation of solar panels is, and many, many more applications. That's a broad scope and some highly relevant applications. Thanks, Bastian. But how can students approach these challenges? Can you tell us something about the program? Well, the program follows the consecutive steps in a geo-information chain from data collection via data modeling to data use. For data collection, for example, we can use this special camera, but a regular camera can also work. The camera collects data, in this case, the facade of the architecture building. The camera collects millions of data points. We call this a point cloud. After collecting the data, we go back inside to process it into a model. Welcome to our space in the building, the GeoLab. In Geomedics, we develop models that automatically link points to each other to create a 3D model of the world. In this case, the architecture building. But we can also do this for entire cities and actually for the 10 million buildings in the Netherlands. This can then, for example, be used to model the flow of wind in the city or for any other kind of fluid, like the prediction of the flow of noise levels in cities. And if you add nice visuals to the model, it can be used to support all kinds of activities related to the societal challenges we talked about before. Awesome, thanks. So now that we've outlined the general topics of the program, can you shed some light on who might be suited to it? Well, we have students from a wide variety of countries and bachelor programs. Computer science, architecture, geography, geoinformation sciences, urban planning, and many others. Students should realize that the Geomedics program entails a lot of programming. We expect that our students are proficient in calculus, linear algebra and statistics. If you fulfill these requirements, Geomedics is not only a challenging, but also a fun program to join. That's good to know. Thanks. With the right skills, it seems like any road can lead you here. Geomatics is part of the Faculty of Architecture and the Built Environment. How do students that have studied architecture in their bachelor experience geomatics? Sebren is one of these students. Sebren, why did you choose this track? I uh, did a Bachelor of Architecture in the Built Environment uh, because I wanted to have an impact on, on what the world looks like. In the Bachelor for me it was a lot about the, the design itself and they would always put a lot of emphasis on how important it is to take into account certain environmental and spatial factors but to me that didn't feel realistic enough and not scientific enough and at, at some point, that's what led me to do geomatics. Was it difficult to make the transition from architecture to geomatics? Initially, it was a concern of mine. Uh, some people told me it would be difficult because in geomatics you do a lot of coding and apply some mathematics, which we don't necessarily have in, in the bachelor. So in my spare time in the summer, I did some small uh, courses online to, you know, to get a little bit up to speed. But at some point, it, uh, you know, it just naturally came. Fantastic. 
And what do you hope to do after the program? My big dream is to, to start my own company. And I have this idea in mind to uh, improve the travel industry. Uh, I think it's very segregated and everything can be combined and be improved. But realistically, I, I think I need some more experience for that. And then hopefully in five years, I, I have my own company. That's an exciting prospect. Good luck, Sebren. Now let's hear from someone with a totally different background. Adele did a Bachelor in Geography in Canada. Why did you choose to study Geomatics and why TU Delft? My undergrad was in Geography and it was a mix of environmental and social sciences. And when I started working after my undergrad, I wanted to have my own technical expertise that I could bring to the table. And I realized that I had taken a few GIS courses and I had really enjoyed them. So I ended up looking for masters that would involve GIS and I found Geomatics, which took GIS to another level because it's really about learning what goes on behind the scenes, behind the computer. It's wonderful that you found your niche. And how do you experience the academic and cultural diversity within the program? So it's been really interesting to have people from such different backgrounds in one room. I would say um, in terms of group work, for instance, there's always someone who has a bit more experience in one subject or another. And as a result, I think you can really learn a lot. Also, culturally, I think it's a real plus when you're in an international setting. That's a great perk. Can you also tell us a bit about what you're currently working on? For my thesis, I'm collaborating with a company that works on agricultural data. And my focus is to use machine learning and satellite imagery in order to better detect cocoa crops. This is an important topic right now because there's more and more emphasis on tracking the impacts of agriculture on deforestation. And I hope that through my research, I can help improve the detection of cocoa and hopefully downstream that will have an impact on reducing deforestation. Wow Adele, thanks for sharing. After graduation, there are many career opportunities for alumni. Graduates can go on to become GIS software developers, geodata experts in consultancy companies or academics. They could also start their own company, like Rusni, who graduated from the Geomatics program a few years ago. Rusni, can you tell us how you ended up doing this? After I have graduated geomatics, first I have joined a small research project on modeling interventilation of large sports buildings. Afterwards, I have joined another research project for which I won a grant to continue my research in the University of Lisbon. That's how I moved away from the Netherlands. And since I really liked working in research, then it only made sense to continue looking for a PhD position. And that's how I came back to Delft. And this time I worked not exactly on geomatics, but more applied geomatics for mapping the system of waste in the Netherlands to make sure that we can move from waste management towards a circular economy. Right now, my uh, research has actually turned into a startup company. First, it has started as an experiment, and now it actually started growing quite fast and successfully. We are helping other companies and governments to find the best solutions for their waste in terms of environmental aspects, price, and how quickly they can dispose it of. That's inspiring. How do you think the Masters in Geomatics prepared you for this? Actually, I'm using a lot of knowledge that geomatics provided uh, me. So first of all, of course, all of the spatial algorithms are very important to understand which solution is best for which kind of company, dependent on where it is located. But not only that, also all the legal aspects of handling data, understanding what is sensitive data, how can we uh, copy public data, share it, uh, distribute it, enrich it. All of those aspects are also extremely important for the business. And also, Geomatics gives a very good basis uh, for any kind of data analysis, not only spatial data. So everything that you need to build a company based on data is actually part of Geomatics program. It's nice to see how it's all come together. Thanks, Rosni. Ultimately, Geomatics is about unlocking the power of spatial data to solve the many spatial challenges that relate to the built environment. It's an innovative and rapidly developing field that holds great potential. So, do you think this master program is something for you? And you want to know more? Then have a look at our website, attend one of our master events, or approach our study association, GEOS.